Steam rises off the coal as it makes its way to the bunkers at Antelope Valley Station. It's sprayed with water to keep dust down. That's the only path of coal coming up to the main plant is through these two conveyors. Plant manager John Jacobs says along the way, the coal is going to meet up with some nuclear technology, coal analyzers. Well, there's a nuclear source that flashes, much like you take an x-ray of a human body. The, instead of reading the bones and the internals of a human being, it reads the, the makeup of the coal as it flashes across that plate. And it sends that signal then to the computer system that analyzes it because of densities and other components in it. The analyzers read for ash, BTUs, moisture, sodium, and sulfur. The most important reading to Antelope Valley Station currently is sulfur. So the control room operator can watch this real time to make sure that whatever coal is coming in the plant, they can take interim steps to blend it to get that sulfur content down. Jacob says they know the coal coming from the mine will soon have higher sulfur content. Without the analyzers, Antelope Valley would try to do things the old way to keep sulfur dioxide low. They'd send a sample to Dakota Gasification Company, an analysis that took at least four hours. And by the time that the sample was analyzed and back to us, the coal was already in the bunker and being burned. There wasn't anything we could do with it. The new coal analyzers take real-time readings. Control room operators monitor and blend the coal as needed. Well, it's, it's when they first start up a belt, it's very important because they don't know what quality of coal they're pulling. As it goes through, it's kind of like a cook in the kitchen. He looks at his mix and he sticks his finger in and uh, tastes it for taste and see if it's the components where it, where it is. Once it's up and running, he doesn't have to monitor it that often once he gets the coal quality to where he wants it to be. Jacob says these analyzers are one of the tools which will keep the plant in environmental compliance. Basin has taken this on as they have in other projects to do this uh, voluntarily. We know what our challenges are and our engineering group and our plant people have worked together to come up with solutions before we get into a point of running in non-compliance, knowing that there are going to be other stop signs along the way of new technologies that need to be in installed and we're just being proactive to make sure that they are in place prior to the time we need them. More proof of Basin Electric's commitment to the environment. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.